If you forgot your Windows login password and can't get into your computer, well, here's a simple way to reset your local user password using the built-in Windows command prompt utility. Minimal fuss or software needed here. So let's get to it. Now let me start by saying that this may not work on every computer, every OS version, and in every single user scenario. There are a lot of variables at play, but in our testing, we were able to successfully use these methods for Windows 10, 22, H2, and for Windows 11, 24, H2. If you have your user login tied to a Microsoft account, I'd recommend using another computer or mobile device to visit Microsoft.com, select Sign In, enter your username, then choose the Forgot Your Password option to walk through the password reset. However, there are several other ways to reset a user login password tied to a Microsoft account that we'll look at in another video. But today, we're only looking at local user accounts. Okay, let's quickly look at our Windows 11 24 H2 computer. Notice we have a password for the user account. Now, we'll want to plug in your bootable USB drive with your Windows 11 ISO file. If you don't have one of these, we've covered how to make one in a previous video. I'll link this video below, so if you don't have this bootable Windows USB, grab an 8GB or larger USB drive and watch the video. Let's boot into our Windows 11 USB by one of two ways. One, you can hold down the Shift key while clicking Restart to bring up our Diagnostic Mode menu. Or two, you can restart your computer as normal, and while it's booting up, you can access the boot menu to select your USB drive. To access the boot menu, you'll hit a function key at startup. My computer here is a Dell, which happens to use the F12 key to get into the boot menu. You may need to research your computer brand to see exactly which F key to use, but F2, F9, F12, and the delete keys are good guesses to start with. All right, so we've booted into our Windows 11 USB. Let's hit next and then click repair your computer. Click troubleshoot. Click command prompt. Now type C colon and hit enter. Type CD windows backslash system 32 and hit enter. Here we're going to back up the original utility manager and replace it with a command prompt. Now type the following two commands. Type copy C colon backslash windows backslash system32 backslash utilman dot exec colon backslash and hit enter. Type Y and hit enter. Type copy C colon backslash windows backslash system32 backslash cmdexec backslash windows backslash system32 backslash utilman. EXE and hit enter. Type Y and hit enter. Now type exit and hit enter. Continue to move back over to your Windows login. Now, we're back at the login screen. Let's click the accessibility icon. This will now open a command prompt instead of the normal accessibility options. In the command prompt, we're going to type the following command. But first, listen. You'll replace the word user name with your user name. And you'll replace new password with your new password of choice. So for example, we'll type net space user space bill space one, two, three, four, five, six, and hit enter. If you're not sure what your username is, just type net space user and hit enter. It will list your user accounts. So let's finish up resetting our password here. Again, we'll type net space user space user space one, two, three, four, five, six, and then hit enter. We'll type exit and let's see if we've successfully reset our password.
You see here the new password 123456. We reset for our user, user, and there you go. Our local user account password has been reset and we've regained access to our PC. Now let's restore the accessibility icon we swapped for the command prompt. At the login screen, click the accessibility icon again. Now type copy c colon backslash utilman dot exe c colon backslash windows backslash system 32 backslash utilman dot exe and hit enter. Type y and hit enter. Type exit and hit enter. Restart your PC. After the reboot, we're back to where we want to be. And that's it. You've reset your Windows local user password without much fuss. I hope you enjoyed this password reset video. And if this helped you, please smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more tech tips. It really is the best way to support what we do. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.